Now what I would like to do is give you a short demonstration of how to use Spill Slayer in a production shot. So let's take key light and go ahead and key the footage. Okay. Now let's look at the mat and clean it up here because uh, there's a little bit of garbage out there that needs to be okay. And now if you want to use Slayer for suppression you would go on key light to intermediate result. Because if you go to final result, that's going to spill suppress. Now, in some cases, that'll be fine, but in a lot of cases, you're going to use spill slayer for more control. So set key light to intermediate result. Now, take spill slayer and apply it to the footage. Oops, excuse me. There we go. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that this edge became a horrible uh, dark color, and we don't want that. Um, and the reason that is, let's turn off key light for just a second and look at Spill Slayer's effect on the footage only. So what you'll notice is that Spill Slayer does an incredible job of getting rid of all that green color um, and it's now turned into like a dark gray or black and that's exactly what it's supposed to do but what needs to happen after spill suppression is what's called unpremultiplication. and so what we're going to do is do that. Now the way to do that in After Effects is there's a utility called Remove Color Matting. And basically what that does is an unpremultiplication by this background color. So let's take the color picker, choose the spilled color areas using Control to pick because that will take the 5 pixel radius around the picker and average those values. Now we can turn Key Light back on. And you'll see our edges are much better. So let's toggle remove color matting just to show the difference. You see, that's much, much better now. Um, and, you know, you can sort of see a little dark here. So if you need to, you can come in here and kind of just drag this around until you get the optimal result. And there you go. Now, if we need to uh, replace, enable color replace on Spill Slayer, we're also going to have to reflect that change on remove color matting. So let's turn color matting off and let's enable color replace on spill slayer. Now by default it'll replace all spill values with red. But what we'd want to do is probably have more like a bluish from the sky. So let's take that and let's sample the sky and now you'll see that looks much better and more natural but it's, it's actually kind of deceitful um, that edge is going away and I guess you know you could do this if you wanted to but to be technically correct we still need to use this color matting however if we use it from the same settings we had earlier uh, it's going to be over bright on these edges now so what we need to do is turn it off and just to show you how this looks with the color replace this is why it looks natural is it's replacing it with that blue but in other shots you'll still need to use remove color matting so what we need to do is turn key light off. Now this is the suppressed green replaced with this blue color. Let's take background color and again control sample it. And when we turn it back on and turn key light back on with our background, now this edge is a little better. This may need to be again tweaked like we did before. And there you go. So now this stack of operations is the correct way to spill suppress and key with spill slayer.